What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to add flares to your music videos. So in Premiere Pro I am here editing a music video and I see a particular spot where I want to add a flare. So what you want to do is, um, for example, here I have this scene where the artist is in the studio and we have like this light position in the ceiling what I want to do is give off this flare effect that as I'm passing or, or moving the camera slowly panning left and right the light is giving off some kind of glare or you know that effect so to achieve this what I'm gonna do is you want to go to the clip and make sure you make sure you have um, the clip highlighted and we're gonna be doing this using Adobe After Effects and this is one of the reasons why I like to use um, Adobe programs because they all work you know with each other and I feel like um, one program helps the next program um, for example you know if you want to add cool text effects you can open Photoshop and Photoshop allows you to use that same um, save file document inside of um, Adobe Premiere Pro so you can take that same text effect that you made and add it to your videos in Premiere Pro. Likewise with the um, After Effects. After Effects is more dedicated towards visual effects so you can then move any, any um, file from Premiere Pro to Adobe After Effects and you know work back and forth like that that's one of the reasons why i enjoy using um adobe program so i'm going to show you here um once you have your clip highlighted you want to go to replace with after effects composition so hitting that button will bring up adobe after effects you want to make sure you have this program too i feel like if you if you're learning um video effects you should have adobe after effects so once this is open this is going to ask you to um, basically save a document that you can you know refer to later i'm going to name this lights so what this does is take that clip um from premiere pro and bring it over to adobe after effects so the next thing you want to do is pre-compose this clip and doing that will just give you a selection of that clip um, with all the adjustments made in um, Adobe Premiere and that'll help you later on when it's time to um, go back to Adobe Premiere Pro. So you want to pre-compose then you want to go to move all attributes into new composition. Hit OK and you should be good. So now with this clip you want to go to track right here. You want to track motion. So Tracking motion is going to allow you to track something within your shot. So, for example, I have this light here. You know, this is going to make it super simple and easy to do. So, all you want to do is track your track point over um, whatever you're trying to track. Um, for me, it's this light right here. So, going to drag that over. You want to make sure the second square is um, just over the space so the program knows what exactly you're trying to track so once that's done you want to hit this play button and what that does is it's going to track that um that spot okay that's done it might take a little while given um your computer specs um i'm working on a maxed out um 2013 13 inch Mac Pro and it took you know a few seconds so once you have your motion track um, you can play it and see my light is completely tracked you know wherever I move the camera it's gonna follow the light so good the next thing you want to do is go to new right click go to new and you want to open a null object and I'm not a hundred percent accurate with um adobe after effects i'm still learning it um so what i think a null object is is like a blank layer um that you can 
parent of the clips too and i'm going to show you what i mean so for example we have this layer here you want to go make sure you have this highlighted and you want to go to edit target right here and you want to hit you want to make sure your blank layer or now layer is selected you want to hit ok the next thing you want to do is hit apply be sure to hit apply sometimes you might forget be sure to hit apply so once you hit that um, you can see now the blank layer is now the track map basically you know it's on a, the, the tracking is just, it's on a separate layer and we need to have that done for the next step you know um, I'm gonna show you why so the next step you want to do is go to new go to solid and you can name this layer whatever or you could just leave it um you know to be organized I'm gonna name it light source good so with this layer selected you want to go to effects and preset and you're gonna need this preset by the way this preset is called null that's k and o well i'm just type on that light so i can be precise here and where is it where is it right here so you want to have this um plug in and it's called no light factory uh, i'm going to try and um, link it down below so you can um, download it and try it out um i think you I think it may be a trial but this is the program you want to be using light factory so with this plugin you want to drag this plugin on this light source layer and as you can see it added the um, flare and what we can do is um, make some adjustments to this flare you want to go to options and in the options tab you know we have um, a bunch of different flares and what you want to do is just basically choose a flare that suits your video um, for me the light is kind of blue um, so I'm gonna be looking for something not too bright or not too strong um, be sure it's blue bear in mind also that you can you can change these colors um, whatever flare you pick you can change the color um, but just to save some time I'm gonna pick something blue and you know directly straight to the point so you want to um, select a flare that you know best choose suits your whatever you're going for um, I kind of like this one kind of let me just make some adjustments here um, in this tab here you have adjustments that you can turn off on and off certain thing, uh, effects um, I don't like this spike ball thing I'm seeing um, ah, it actually means spike ball <laughs> right um, so yeah I didn't like that so I turned it off everything else is a go so you hit okay boom now what you want to do to get this light on to the video is you want to go down here to mode and you want to hit your screen and what screen does is get rid of the black and just leave the light source um, there so you can see the flare so now we want to join the two layers together you know you want to connect the light to the track mat and that will bring the motion and the light together so to do that what you want to do is go to location you want to hold alt and hit light source location so what this does is bring up um, the expression to allow you to parent this to the null layer so on the null layer you want to hit p for position what you want to do is drag you want to go right here to this expression pick whip um hit alt and you want to drag that to the position boom 
then you should have something like this. I'll just let it load for a second. But you should have um, the light and the tracking both join. So that's that's um, what we're trying to accomplish. And you can see here that it is tracked. Now, this is not a simple process. This is something you should um, try to perfect and remember the steps so you can do this right each time. Um, this is not a, you know, one click thing. You know, you got to um, complete each step to have this effect. Once you do it right, you know, you're going to have a solid track, you know, a solid light track, you know, and that's the objective here. So as you can see, we have um, that flare effect coming from the light source. So what we can do to, you know, further give the illusion that this is a real flare is add a behavior to this light. And what I mean by behavior is you can go to the effect and the effect have some like, um, what do you call it? Behaviors. It, it has like some presets that allow you to change the way the light, you know, behaves and interact with your scene. So, for example, I have a slight pan going on here. And what I want to do to give the illusion that this is a real flare is add some, add a pulse effect. And you can like change the duration, the brightness, all of that right here. And I'm going to do say about eight seconds. And what that does is, I think that took, that took a little too long, let's say about three every two seconds so boom you see what it does like as the camera moves it gives off that illusion like you moving into the flare you know little stuff like that um and then it goes back you know ah look at that look at that And that's what you want so once that's done um all you want to do is just go back to um your adobe premiere and what um after effects does is just it saves that file like it well actually it, it it does it in real time so each time you make a um, adjustment in adobe after effect it updates in Premiere Pro. So you would already have this loaded and ready. So I'm gonna just render this just to show you um, what it looks like and what we've accomplished. And voila, you can see the flare effect. Let me, so you can see. And you can see it's very professional. It looks super real and that's what that's what we're going for here you know now you can do that multiple times um i guess if you have a scene where you want to add multiple flares you can you can do this um wherever you feel it fits you know so this is how you do it um this was not a super easy tutorial video but if you follow these steps and you want to you know have that realism effect your videos and, and it actually ups your production value too um by doing this you can definitely try it out and see if it fit don't go and just add it anywhere or you know randomly you know do it where it where it fits you know do it if you have like a light in the background and you want to you know spice it up a little bit more do it right there don't just do it because you know you saw it somewhere and you think it you know what i mean just do it where it fits. So that's how you do the music video flares. Go ahead and subscribe and like if you, you know, find this useful and stay tuned for more.